Hello, I'm Brett Williams, and you are going to learn about patterning. It's a new form of positive psychology. What you're going to learn in this video is about how trying doesn't make change. It's only change that makes change happen. And the way I'm going to teach you this principle or philosophy is by actually teaching you a thought-stopping technique. Now, a lot of our other pieces have been kind of thinking, thoughtful pieces. But today's piece, what we're going to do today in this exercise, is learn something practical along with the thought-provoking as well. All right, let's get started. First, I want to start off with a little demonstration. Get your interest, get your awareness up. And uh, I'm going to use my brother, Matt Buckley. Hey, Matt. Hey, Brett. Hey, everybody. All right. Now, I've asked Matt to come help me for a couple of different reasons, not only for his good looks and his intelligence, but also for his brawn. So here's how it works. Um, we're going to go ahead and both take a good, strong stance, lock up our elbows. And what I want to do first is I want to see if I can shove him off balance. And he's going to go ahead and resist me. Um, and I'm going to do my best to see if I can move him even an inch. All right. Any bets out there? I don't know. All right. Ready? Go. I'm really trying. Ugh, come on. Okay. All right. So that was his try. Now that was my try. Now he's going to try with me. All right. Lock arms. Ready? Push. All right. Hey, that worked pretty good. This time I'm going to try it with one leg up. See if we can do it. Ready? Push. All right. Now what this is a demonstration of is how when you resist, when you create resistance, what you do is you actually create power. Uh, once you create resistance, then I can actually try or at least use something to push against him. Uh, even though he's much stronger than I am, I can't move him. But at least I get some kind of form of leverage. But he, if I don't offer resistance, can't move anything because I'm not giving him anything to work with. So that's the principle we're going to look at and work on today. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Brett. Some of you may think that what I just did with Matt was cheating. Hey, I was not cheating. I like the word changing. I was changing the system, changing the patterns. And by changing the pattern, interrupting the pattern, we produced results. I was able to move him where before I was never able to move him. So that's what I want to teach you in patterning psychology in general, but also want to teach you in this particular video as we look at our thoughts. I want to start off by talking about what traditional psychology does for thought stopping. There are two basic techniques that are... One of them is kind of where the idea of thought stopping comes from. And it's simply this, to put up a stop sign in your mind. Anytime you have any kind of negative thought, the idea is just say no. Nope, I'm not going to think that. I'm a loser. Nope, I'm not going to think that. I'm a failure. Nope, I'm not going to think that. The other variation of that is arguing with myself. So the way that works is that I'll say something like, I'm a loser, I'm a failure. And then what I'm supposed to do is jump in and say, well, no, I don't know if that's really true. Let's look at the facts. Am I a total loser? Is there anything I've done well? Anything I've done right? And I go through and I start creating a list of the things that are good or positive or the things that I can prove that I'm not a loser. Now, as we look at those two traditional psychotherapy approaches, what do we see? Does it sound familiar at all? Does it kind of look like this? Where we have a negative thought and our approach is to push against that negative thought, to not let that negative thought win. Well, this looks a lot like where we were stuck in the beginning. I mean, it's stuck in a power struggle. And some days when I'm good, I can get rid of those negative thoughts. No, no, no. But most days, I can't. Most days, they push me around. So how do we create a shift? I want to suggest a technique that comes from patterning, and it's called tagging. And the way tagging works is that we're going to take a negative thought and we're going to connect it to another thought that's either neutral or positive or funny. And that is going to allow the thought to just 
continue on. The best way I can say it is, I'm not going to create resistance. I'm going to actually agree with that negative thought, but agree with it on my terms. And by agreeing with it on my terms, I don't create resistance. I allow that thought to transfer through. Let me give you a couple examples. Let's start with, I'm not enough. Again, what I want to do is take that thought, I'm not enough, and I'm going to tag something. Here's what I want to tag. I'm not enough because I listen to these crappy thoughts. See what I did? I didn't disagree with my thoughts. I said, I'm not enough. I just added to it because I listened to these crappy thoughts. And it just allows the thought to move on through me. All right, let's try with the, I'm not enough, therefore no one's gonna love me. Let's work on that second half for a minute. I'm unloved, I'm unlovable. Yeah, when you're feeling sorry for yourself, of course you're unlovable. Again, I'm not gonna argue, I'm just gonna let it go. Now, I'm gonna teach you kind of a, an advanced stage of this, a stage that I feel like is even more effective and even more fun. It is called irrational cognitive therapy. And in irrational cognitive therapy, what I wanna do is I wanna take that negative thought and this time, instead of tagging just a neutral or plain thought to it that takes the shame out of it, that takes the, the self-criticism out of it, what I want to do instead is add something funny, something humorous. I'm not enough because I don't use the deodorant they say I should use. Now, I like that one because that one also will work for the negative thoughts in terms of why I'm not lovable because I'm not using the right deodorant. Of course, that's why I'm not lovable. Patterning psychology, or patterning as I call it, is all about patterns. We are patterns, both for good and for bad. And what you're doing with this exercise is you're building in a new pattern into your nervous system. So all of this that we're talking about today is gonna happen automatically. My biggest tip for you as you work on this exercise yourself, don't think, do. Don't think, do. Just say it, connect it. Say it, connect it. Say it, connect it. Say it, connect it. Say it, connect it over and over again, fast as you can. And let that just interrupt its own process. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Brett Williams, and you're learning about patterning, a new form of positive psychology. Take care. Hey, thanks, Matt. You're welcome, Brad. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I said, huh. I'm not enough. That's true. Because I listen to these crappy thoughts.